When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Yeah, we'll try not to judge too much. You can always reach out to us and, uh, you know, give you a call and have you work through the issues at hand. Mark, good morning. Hey, good morning. Um, So when we got your message, kind of made us scratch our head a little bit. So, yeah, walk us through it. All right, man. So my girlfriend in two years have gotten into witchcraft of late, right? <laughs> okay, you said witchcraft, right? Like witches. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, like it's yeah, it's it's like freaking me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. She has a major personality change. She's freaking my family out as well, man. Like she's dressing in all black all the time. Mm-hmm. Never stops talking about putting spells on people, man. Serious, <laughs> seriously, wow. seriously, man. Like, and you know, I love life. It's fantastic, but everything <laughs> else is really weird. Like <laughs> the other night. I walked in on her performing a, a ritual with a dead frog in the middle of the kitchen, man. The oh, middle of our kitchen. Stop man. it. Crazy. Stop know, it. Man. This wow. is like something out of a movie or something you'd see on a show. Yeah, man. It's it's pretty out there, man. And and it, it is getting weird, weirder and weirder. And I'm not sure if, you know, if I could stay on or get off this crazy ride. Man. <laughs> what do you think, man? Okay. All right, Mark. Well, um, girlfriend of a couple years, you said she has just recently started into this new, can we call it a hobby or is it like a a way of life? I don't even know what to call it. Plus, if you break up with her, aren't you worried that she's going to like perform a spell on you or something? Yeah, man. I just, it reminds me of the movie The Craft, but just today, like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's really weird, man. Like, I don't know if I should stay or break up. I, I, I just... All right. All right. Well, Mark, we've got really opinionated listeners waiting to tell you what to do with your life. So uh, that's the good news. But yeah, man, hang out and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Okay. All right, man. Appreciate the help, man. Really, really want to see what everybody thinks. No problem, Mark. A lot of people mentioned what you did. Like, are you afraid if you leave, she will cast a spell? I, 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 and I don't know. The only thing I know about witchcraft is what Harry Potter has told me and the and any sort of hollywood movie has told me so Uh my only experience with witchcraft is what the movies and television have shown me so well the dead frog doesn't lead us to think that it's happy fun magic so that's what causes me concern kimberly said the same thing yeah when dead animals come into it that's a crazy train you might want to get off i mean since this is a sudden left turn from how she was before you may want to sit down, talk to her, express your concerns about the sudden changes to her personality mm-hmm. and that she's bringing dead animals into the house. Yeah, in the but kitchen. Then, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then Gabriel's like, if you can't accept her for who she is, then leave her. She deserves better. Ah. That is a unique viewpoint. Okay. That uh, stood out from all the other ones that are sending us gifs like, run! Well, okay. Well, run! Now... Because we're, I mean, we're saying run because we don't understand. So I right. think I think it would help if someone could reach out who is in that world and could Should shed some more it? light on it. Googling's not going to help, Kelly. What, like, <laughs> what, what help. does it mean if you sacrifice a frog in your kitchen? Now, to be Can fair, I we don't know it? if she sacrificed it or not. All we know is oh. it wasn't alive. So, um, okay. All right, 502-571-9970. This is group therapy. That is witchcraft. Uh, All I know, self-admittedly, is from the movies. Mark, he's got a girlfriend of a couple years. Mark's girlfriend has recently gotten into witchcraft. Dresses in all black, talks about spells, weirding everyone out, even walked in on her... And a dead frog in their kitchen asking what our take is. Yeah, his family's freaked out. He's freaked out. He doesn't know if this relationship is worth these drastic changes. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of people chiming in on text line. Tiana says, 
Um, I practice witchcraft. I don't mess with dead animals or do spells on people. He needs to talk about her, uh, talk to her about it if it's making him uncomfortable. There's white, gray, and black magic. Mm. White magic does no harm to anyone or anything. Gray magic is mostly good, but they'll dabble a little in black magic. Black magic is dark and harmful. I do white magic, which is like self-esteem, prosperity, happiness spells. Just things that would be positive. Every witch is different, though. Yeah. Okay, so I asked if anyone has experience to give us a call. Jennifer, uh, thank you for calling us. Now, you have some experience in the witch world. I'm listening, but I had to pull over and call in because this is a big one for me. I am a priestess in the Wiccan religion, Mm -hmm. so I understand a little bit about what's going on a little bit more than y'all do, because all you know is from movies and television. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. And and Jennifer, help shed some light on this, because literally uh, the only thing I know about witchcraft and wizardry is from Harry Potter and from, you know, all those, the movies, the witches, anything Hollywood is thrown at me, that's what I understand. Right, which is kind of, you know, what I can't stand is that traditional Hollywood representation of a witch, because that's not what we are. Mm-hmm. So those people who follow the Wiccan religion, it's an earth-based religion. We, I like to call myself a tree-hugging dirt worshiper. Okay. Um, so <laughs> it's earth-based. But what it sounds like that she's doing is more of um, voodoo Ooh. Or, or hoodoo, which is a little bit different. So that's what that sounds like to me, because uh, I don't, you know, I don't wear all black. I don't goth out, you know. Spell casting is a physical representation of pray, praying. So uh-huh. when you pray at night, you just, you know, close your eyes, clasp your hands, and, you know, talk to God. Right. The way we do it is physically with hmm. spells. So okay. that's, that's kind of what she's doing. But Wiccans don't sacrifice animals. Okay, so that's where you're thinking maybe she's not actually practicing witchcraft. It's more something. Oh, no. I think she's practicing black magic. Oh, I, I oh, do. oh, okay. I, I absolutely do. I think she's practicing black magic. And there's something happened to her that put her on that path. Mm. So he needs to sit down and talk to her about it because she she's really going down off the deep end. Because we believe in the law of three, and I'm sure y'all do as well, but mm-hmm. everything that you put out into the universe comes back to you three times over. Okay. So if you kill an animal in your spellcraft or in your in your spell casting, you've taken a life. And so that's gonna come back to you three times over. That that's, oh, that's bad. Energy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's gotcha. bad that's bad that's bad that's a bad deal, dude. That's yeah. a bad, bad deal. Okay. Jennifer I appreciate you enlightening me and us on <laughs> on on this, okay? Uh, bye. All right, bye bye. I like wow. Okay, that was a lot of information. Tree hugging dirt worshiper. I like that. I do. I like that yeah. too. But um, this does sound more like in the black magic realm, especially with the whole animal sacrifice thing. Okay, so if I'm uh, equating this to Disney movies, this would be. Um, like the uh, nemesis to Princess Tiana, is that? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In Princess and the Frog, Shadow Man, Shadow Man, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, but yeah, I I think absolutely. At the very least, we talk, uh, we sit her down because she's she has to not be surprised. He's noticed a very huge change in her behavior, appearance, all the things. So he sits down, talks to her, and like, what's up? Yeah. What you know? What is this? What are you doing? What what led you to do this, and are you going to continue doing this? And then maybe he can decide, do I want my future to look like that? Yeah, and, you know, Jennifer pointed it out there, and Brad's pointing it out. You know, witchcraft aside, the drastic change she's made yeah. usually means there's some sort of trauma or stress that triggered it. And so that's what we need to kind of dive into. Yeah, um, get but, to the uh, the root of it. Sarah's like, buy some holy water and a cross, maybe even a bulb of gar- garlic and a steak. <laughs> she's not a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I don't think she's a vampire. <laughs> no, she's not a vampire, for goodness <laughs> sakes. All right, well, hey, um, Mark, keep us posted, and hopefully, you know, uh, it's just a, a a learning of things, and it's just an adjustment, and maybe, you know, you can uh, learn to live with it or or not. But it sounds like 
if uh, if not, then you, you better you better douse yourself in some holy water before Let's you decide to run. With our discussion, <laughs> yes, I know. Let's exit gracefully, right? So exit. We don't get the spell. I know that's right, and if, yeah. uh, hopefully it already hasn't been cast on you. So, uh, anyways, keep us posted, Mark. If you have been listening and you're just banging your head against the steering wheel because we're completely off base, um, go ahead and post it up on Facebook at Ben and Kelly Show. There, that is group therapy.